It appears we've been scammed again. Rhoda Osman the Brick Lady appears to be a scammer that uses victimhood to create GoFundMe's. Her first incident was in 2020. And they mad because you trying to be somebody. They mad because you trying to be somebody. I'm trying to be a doctor and they mad. Look what they did to me. Look what they did to me for no reason. They don't beat me up. I'm 30 years old. They don't beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up for no reason. Look at me. I'm not a bad person. Y'all know that. Y'all know I'm a good person. And they try to do this to me. So, what's up, guys? What's going on? Yeah, it's me again. It's your boy. <sighs> and this is the crazy thing about this. It's the same thing. And more and more, this young lady is out here saying all this stuff. More and more things are coming out about her. So, is she a scammer? Possibly. She's been trying to go viral for a while. And the crazy thing is how all you black ladies, as soon as something happened, y'all start digging on the black man. Black man, black man, black man, black man. Y'all don't do this. Y'all don't do that. Y'all don't do this. Y'all don't do that. That's all the fuck we get from y'all. But y'all never accept when y'all do something wrong. Remember the Carly, what's that, Carly Russell? All kind of shit. We ain't protected. We ain't doing this. She hiding in the fucking woods somewhere. Nobody said anything. Now this chick pulled the same stunt in 2020. Now if you pay attention to the video, you will see. You will see that she had started a fight with some woman out there prior to the young man hitting her with something. Now... Like we say, we don't condone all this violence, especially with no breaks and objects and all this shit. I always tell people don't be doing all this. We know we done got too violent among these ourselves. But maybe he was connected to that woman you was trying to fight. And maybe he defended that woman. See, y'all don't see all these videos coming out and y'all not paying attention. But see, some young brothers that was outside that heard all the commotion, they told their part of the story. And you'll check this in a minute. Enjoy. Face with a brick and all these black men just watch. And they don't it. give a fuck. Yeah. This man, is. this man he hit me, he went, grabbed a rock, and he hit me. Right. I feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and say things they don't understand or they don't know. You guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend. Who you guys are trying to speak up for. This is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets. She's not innocent. She was actually taunting the guy to hit her. Why would I go defend somebody that's actually looking for trouble? This woman, she is literally a troublemaker. Everybody that knows her in our community knows she's a troublemaker. I'm not going to risk my life over somebody that's actually out there looking for trouble. If you go on social media, online, you're going to see some of her antic videos, taunting people, looking for a reaction. Well, she got what she been looking for, and you guys are giving her the attention that she was actually seeking for. I don't regret not standing up for her. If you look at some of the videos, I was there. I don't regret nothing whatsoever. I don't regret standing up for her. I'm not saying she deserved it. I'm not saying that any men have a right to hit a woman, especially with a brick. Nobody deserves that. By the end of the day, there's more to the story. She's not as innocent as she's trying to portray herself to be. She claimed she was assaulted by a dollar store security guard, in which she sustained facial contusions, a black eye, and a back injury. She started a GoFundMe and received over $4,000. Now here in her most recent scan. She claims to have been assaulted by a man for not giving him her phone number. Face with a brick and all these black men just watch and they don't give a Yeah, this man, this man hit me See, I need y'all to pay close attention to what was said in that video Someone said we wasn't here So the people she pointing out wasn't out there when it happened That's why probably nobody really seen what was going on But again We 
jump into stuff because we need to what? Put down the brothers. Keep watching. These other brothers are going to come on and open your eyes a little so, bit. Once again, she has created a GoFundMe to help pay her medical bills. This time she has raised over $40,000. The men from the video speak out. Right there, bro. See what I'm saying? We like, were coming from the gas station. We just came from the gas station, right? And she was talking about, she got hit with the brick, you know what yeah, I mean? And then we was asking. So we just like, we what just happened, what bro? Do, who just hit you with a brick? She talking about a guy in a suit. Off. You know what I mean? But we saw the guy out here, though. We, we never knew he was a bad guy, though. You know what I mean? We saw the guy out here, like we working and stuff like that. So that was around here and stuff like that. That was moving and stuff like that with the girl before she got hit with the brick, you know? So, um... Uh, what happened? We just don't know what happened. I think they had like a argument or something like that. She, we just don't know. Order, before you know, she was trying to fight with another. Yeah, she was trying to fight with another girl right there before she got hit with a brick. You know what I mean? She was trying to. And see, just that quick, something came out nobody knew about. She's out there trying to fight some other woman. Now let's say that woman was connected with the dude, cause they said the dude had a suit on. So what's going on out here? Again, all these guys have accents that been coming out. So this must be a part of town that's more black immigrant, not just, you know, regular black people. But we always got these Captain Saberholes that come through, Dr. Umar. Telling every black man, you need to go out and protect black women. Even though I don't know what's going on, never don't know the situation. But we need to put ski masks on and go beat the shit out of brothers who put their hands on sisters. It's always these dudes giving instruction for other dudes to go do some shit. They know it's going to get them locked up. Who are you going to tell somebody to ski mask up and go out and jump on dudes? You can always call the police, guys. I tell you on a heartbeat, save you a lot of damn problems. If you see it, call the police. And there were some guys who called the police found that out they called the police and an ambulance for the young lady so some black some brothers did try to help her but it was after because like i said before this probably happened quick so by the time people knew what was going on she didn't got hit but you out there trying to fight another woman but listen to a little bit what dr umar had to say and then we'll be right back she was trying to fight. i just heard and i hope i'm wrong brothers and sisters I just heard, and I hope I'm wrong, brothers and sisters, but I just heard that a sister got hit with a brick for denying the romantic advances of a brother. Is that true? Can somebody confirm this story? In the United States, my American Africans, my American Africans, my American Africans, did I hear that correctly? That a sister got hit with a brick by a brother. This is insane. No man worthy of the title man. No man worthy of the title man should ever put his hands on an African queen. You have no business touching our sisters. Now, brothers, I've said this before. We're going to have to ski mask up and start protecting our women. We're going to have to ski mask up and start protecting our women. A brother put his hands on a sister. There should be an army of brothers to put him in his place. We have to. We have to. Every time a black woman is assaulted, black men as a brotherhood are dishonored. And there he go. Again, you know, I always look at guys that are always trying to get people to go out and start some stuff, start some violence against something. They never put their hands on anything. They never been recorded or known for putting their hands on somebody. But they're quick to tell everybody else, go out and start a revolution. Why you ain't out doing it? You talk a mean game. Or better yet, why is it that we have to you know, result to 
more violence. We see that in Chicago. That's what they're doing, putting ski masks on and going back at their ops, right? Look how that shit worked out. You don't even know the details, but you're telling dudes to go out and nobody even know who the fuck this dude is. Nobody to this day has said, who is this dude? And so, like somebody say, he had a suit on. She ain't said nothing. She didn't get a license plate. Her girlfriend, y'all sit there and argued enough to get hit. And like, like Charleston White said, ladies, you got to learn to remove yourselves from an unruly man. You want to sit there and go toe to toe. You never know what these dudes are about. We keep telling you, some of these dudes don't care about knocking your damn block off. But y'all still up in there trying to fight. Some dudes are extremely strong. You ever see two strong men fight? They'll tear up a whole damn room before they can get them to break up. Tear it up like two bulls in that fight. And you want to jump your little 135 pound ass in there and try to fight one. We got to do better, people. We got to do better. And young ladies, sorry you got hit with a brick. But maybe you need to slow your ass down and run up in people's faces and pulling these skits. And, and maybe he thought you was pulling a skit on him or you was pulling a skit and went wrong. That happens. Because you know him from going and slapping people for reparations. You talk about all the sisters. I don't know why the sisters coming to your rescue now because you talk shit about biological women. You went after Jess Hilarious. Talk shit about her. You talk shit about men. You said men are not the providers and the protectors. Remember that video? See, all that shit is on Twitter. All y'all got to do is go to Twitter. You'll see it all. But see, that would be too easy because it's better to just talk shit about another black man. That man should be locked up. Why isn't he locked up? Because that wasn't her concern. Her concern was getting some clout about it. And then I hear she done made $40,000 off it. She made four thousand off her first video. She had the same thing happen in two thousand what twenty with some workers at a Dollar General. Say almost the exact same shit. Now, twenty twenty three, she run up on another. She finally got somebody else engaged with her. But this time, she got forty grand because all y'all just went to. Da, 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 da. So let's see who else going to go out here and do something. And y'all come running with the money. Y'all was about to give it to Carly Russell. Until the truth came out. And then y'all was all mush, hush mouthed in. She might be sick. She might have had some mental problems. She might have been this and this. The girl smiled at her mug shot because she gets a misdemeanor. Not one black woman came out saying nothing. I said, I'll be that. It didn't sound right. But y'all keep going and give y'all money to these scammers. And they'll just keep scamming y'all ass up. But the more y'all learn about this woman, the more it's coming out. This is what she do. So, hey, y'all have fun. Give your money to this scammer. I don't care. I'm about to get up out of here. Y'all take care. Mr. Nobody. Convives. Peace.